Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to answer the question, can you use Excel formulas in Microsoft Word? And the answer is yes. In fact, quite easily. So there are two methods. The first is to create your formulas in Excel and copy and paste them into Word. And there's a special way of doing that. And the second way of using formulas in Word is to actually create an Excel spreadsheet within your Word document. So we'll look at both methods. Let's start with copying and pasting from Excel into Word. So here's the data that I want to copy into Word and my formulas are in columns F and G. This is really quite simple. I select my data and I copy, so Control C, and then I switch over to Word. And in Word, I want to go up to paste menu here which is on the home tab and i go to paste special now what i want to do is paste in a microsoft excel worksheet object now, i have two options paste or paste link so paste will paste it in as a normal excel worksheet object almost like a copy of what you've got in your excel workbook paste link does as it suggests it links the copy that you've got in your Word document to the original in Excel. Well, we're gonna keep things nice and simple here. We're just gonna paste a Microsoft Excel worksheet object. Click on OK. So paste it in perfectly. And the great thing about this is that at any point in time, I can just double click on this object. And even though I'm in a Word document, I've got all the Excel ribbon commands at the top here i can edit cells so let's change the sales for 2016 here for the first product and it refreshes all of the formulas i can use any of the formatting options i can go to formulas here and use any of the functions that are available to me it's just as if i'm in excel even though i'm in a word document Click outside it, and there we are. It looks like a table that I've created in Word, but it has all the functionality of Excel. The second method, if I just come down here, is to actually insert an Excel spreadsheet into my document. So what I do is I go to the Insert tab on my ribbon, I go to the Table option, and there we have it, Excel spreadsheet. So I click on that. It presents me with an Excel spreadsheet. Again, I've got the Excel ribbons at the top of my screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter some data and then add some formula and you can see how it works. So now I've got my data, I can just enter a formula, easiest way to do this in this context, select all the data plus an extra row and column, and then go up to the auto sum button and it creates my totals for me. Now, what I would probably do is get rid of the grid lines so they don't show in the Word document. To do that, I'd go to view and tick grid lines there. I might apply some actual printable borders so the data selected, I go to home, choose all borders. And then what I want to do is scroll down. So the first row that I'm actually using is at the top of this little window and then reduce the window size so it fits my data. Click outside and there we are. There's my Excel spreadsheet in Word. If I need to edit it, for example, to get rid of these little error triangles at the top here, just double click, select those cells, get to the little error button, ignore error. But similarly, if I was to change some data, the formulas update, click outside it, and I've got the updated table. Okay, so two ways of putting Excel formulas in Word, one, copy and paste, second, insert an Excel spreadsheet. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.